good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time and depending on when you're going to be seeing this video it's about your boy cost reps corner like i always tell you guys it's my corner it's your corner and it's a corner somebody should help me go and tell you daniel Edochi the last son of Chief Pet Edoche, that he should please do what he had to do or what he needs to do as a man and leave other things that are not important that he is doing. How can a presidential candidate turn to a motivational speaker, turn to a polygamous man, a polygamous man, turn to an internet sensation, now turning over to be the spokesperson of somebody who he was supposed to contest an election with. How? Have you not seen that downgrading and try to know what you need to do as a person? Anyway, let me give us a preamble of what's going on. Few days ago, I don't know when I'll be doing this video, that's why I'm using the word few days ago. Few days ago, there was a man who was invited to Arise News by the Arise team. And Mr. Rofa, as you can see him there, the one on suit, asked him some questions. But paraventure, the mode or the pattern the question came, got the man upset and the man refused to answer. I don't know if I'm free to show that video, but that's why I'm not going to show it. I don't have issues with copyright and everything. I'm just trying to give you a preamble of what happened. So the man in question stood on his ground and said Rofai was insulting him. As if that was not enough, the man even threatened to leave the studio as at that day. I watched the video again before I started doing this video. And Rofai was just laughing. So, after that interview, it seems that that particular thing he did pissed off Yue Doche and Yue Doche came for him. Now, I don't really know what is your Edoche's tick or your Edoche's own or your Edoche's pattern or your Edoche's thing in this whole thing? I don't know if you understand. So I really want you to see what really transpires. So let me, that's why I brought it here. See what we'll do. Let's not just drag it. Let me just show you what he said about Rofai. Then I will not come and tell you what people said to him that is your Edoche because I don't see anything that makes your Edoche morally qualified to judge somebody as. Rofai Husseini. Yes, I repeat it. I don't see anything that makes you a Duchi morally qualified to judge or talk about anybody so, uh, that, that has done something, somebody like Rofai Husseini. I don't see you a Duchi morally okay to talk him out or to advise him or to talk to him about anything of that sort. Because you are Duchi, for me, to me, has lost all moral form of standard. Oh, English will not kill me. He has lost everything. So, I said, let me just show us and just let us know what is really going on and how the thing started. I was like, let me give us that preamble. So, now I'm going to allow you to watch what you are Duchi to Rufai so that you can now get the story of what really transpired. I am scared of sharing that video of Arise News. That's why I'm going to leave it. Like I said, let me share us with this one that you and Doshi said. And then let me come to comments comment section and read to you what people said to you and Doshi. Okay? So what we'll do is just relax and let us just watch this short video of you and Doshi sending a message to Rufa. Okay? Watch with me. Is this not the same uh, Rufa Yoseni? Same Rufa Yoseni that was caught... Uh, driving against traffic. I think he drove on uh, BRT Lane. I think that was last year or two years ago or three years ago. I don't know. Somewhere in Lagos. Rufai Oseni, same guy. He drove on BRT Lane, which is wrong. And when officials caught him, instead of apologizing, you know, and admitting that he was wrong, what was he saying? He was saying that he, he was shouting, do you know who I am? I want to call, I'm going to call the governor of Lagos State. Is it not the same Rufai Oseni? <laughs> Same Rufai Oseni that is insulting people on national TV, all in the name of, uh, of doing journalism. My friend, shut up and sit down. Shut up and sit down, I'm talking to you. You don't have no rights. You don't have any moral justification to, to, to talk where men, people with integrity are talking. 
I mean, you're talking nonsense on, on national TV. You're a very disrespectful person. You have no respect for the laws of this country. In fact, if somebody like you becomes president, you, believe me, you'll wipe out Nigerians. Are you not the same person that was caught driving on BRT lane? You could not even apologize. If not because somebody had a video, a video was made. That was the only time when you saw the video, that was when you came on, on national TV to apologize. If there was no video, what would have happened? This is what you do. Just imagine the other ones that we don't, we, we've not seen before. How can you invite somebody? I don't, who taught you journalism? Believe me, who taught you journalism? The first thing they should have taught you is to respect your guests. If you have a guest and you're talking in a particular manner and the guest does not like it, first thing you do is to apologize to that guest. Make the guest feel comfortable, then you continue with your question. How can you tell a guest that if the guest is not comfortable, the guest is free to walk out, walk out of the studio and you call yourself a journalist? What nonsense? What kind of taught you journalism, Rufai. I am talking to you, Rufai Oseni. You're not better than anybody out there. You're a very disrespectful person and you should go and learn journalism. You are insulting people on national TV. The video is there on the internet. It's there. Somebody can call it up. Call up that video and post it. And you will see who Rufai Oseni is. Same Rufai Oseni that is insulting people, acting like God on national TV. Making your guests very uncomfortable. You inform like you are you know, you get Nigeria. You are the most concerned citizen. You are more concerned than all of us. I said, shut up. Shut up, Lufa Yoseni. I'm talking to you. You have no moral justification to talk to anybody on national TV that way because you're not better than any Nigerian. You are not. If nobody will tell you, I will tell you to your face, Rufai Oseni. You are do you are getting it wrong. That is not journalism. You are even laughing. I saw you on I watched this video. You were even laughing at your guests. What what rubbish? Who taught you? Where did you where did you learn your own journalism? Which which country? Where? Huh? You're a very disrespectful person, Rufai Oseni. You're getting it wrong, and I'll tell you to your face. Listen to me. Jagaban, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is the president of Nigeria. That's the Grand Commander of the Federal Republic. Okay, GCFR. He is the president of Nigeria, whether you like it or not. He is our president. You must respect him. Okay? Give him the respect that he deserves. If you feel like being president, you have the next four years. Go and buy form and contest. And of course, President Tinubu will defeat you. The man just came in. He's been there for just months. Give him time. Rome was not built in a day. You're not better. You, Rufai Oseni, I'm talking to you. You're not better than any other Nigerian out there. Ordinary to apologize. On, on because you drove on BLT lane, you couldn't do it. You were shouting on the road. If not, that camera caught you shouting that you want to call the governor of Lagos State. So, how are you better? Stop it. Have respect for our president, and the man deserves to be given time to work. Rome was not built in a day, he's been there for a couple of months. He needs time to fix the country. So, now you have heard the message from Ue Doche to Rufai Oseni of Arise News TV. The thing is that Oseni, for me, is not perfect. I've said about that before. But for me as a person, to, as a common man, Oseni happens to be the voice of the common man in Arise News. Yes, if you don't know, know that now. But we are not saying what Ue Doche said is wrong or right for me. But what I'm saying is that he has no moral justification to be the one to correct somebody. You are doing this, he has no right. Morally, he has no right to be the one to judge somebody. You are doing has no right. Quote me anywhere. A man who can do what he did to his wife cannot be morally cleared to talk to another person in that manner. I can beat my hand in my chest and say it. As if that was not, was, was not enough, people in the comment section uh, saw what I saw and they said the same thing. And I said, no, I can't do this video without adding at least two of these two pages of this comment. Just about eight comments in total. So that they can still see that, yes, not only Kostrep is saying it, some person see what I see. So let, us go, let us go to the comment section so that you will understand what I'm talking about. The first person say, from being an aspirant president... To a promiscuous estranged husband, to a moronic polygamist, a man conveyed in an epidemic sheet, very disgusting human. The next one says, This is very sad to see. 
See how you has fallen so low. Whoever told you that a lion can't give birth to a goat lied to us all, all this while. Just negoti you, tears emoji. Look at that statement. Whosoever told you that a lion can't give birth to a goat lied to us all. Do you know what that means? The father is one of the most respectable man in Nigeria who has received both international and national award. But yet, this Judah of his son, Judah is carried of his son, is the one that is trying to drag his father's name to the mud. And he happens to be the last son out of five sons the man has. Are you not, do, do you understand it? Then the next one say, you should learn how to maintain dignified silence on some issues, especially when they don't consign him direct. This issue does not consign him. Okay. The next one say, you, you can't even talk to Judy. Talk less of ranting to your fellow man. Then let me take the next page before we go. He said, ha, on God day body, you laugh emoji. Do this steady ozoling on the net to get Baba's attention. But he doesn't know that Baba know they come internet. Because BB L O L. Yes, the last time we saw, saw a, a comment from Baba on uh, internet. He said he does not come to the internet because of IBP. Yes, that's what he's trying to say. One one name you go explain, explain tire. Baba is not seeing you. You is not seeing your shadow. So kindly rest. The next one came and said, go to NTA or TVC if you don't want to if you don't want to answer questions. Simple. You cannot come to arise news and not answer questions. You must answer questions. Now say, Sir Pet Edoche, your son needs serious help, sir. Please, sir. <laughs> then the last comment I'm going to take care. He said, Who's not going to watch the video just like me? Because you na bingo. Okay. Anyway, guys. That is all the comments I can take here. I just want to show you that uh, people are not really happy that he left what he should do and he's doing another thing. That's why I said, let me share with us and tell us what's going on in the uh, media space, okay? I haven't said I want to thank all of us for always being here. I really do appreciate it. For those of us who have not subscribed or follow us on our social media platform, please, I beg you, subscribe, follow us on our social media platform, like, comment, and share so that we can move this ministry to the department. Okay, take me away next time to see me on your screen, guys. I leave all of us in peace.